Hey guys, welcome back to the MagFed Ranch Paintball Channel. And today I'm going to be doing a tabletop review of the UTG 4x32 Mini Crossbow Scope. But before we get into it guys, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, share, and comment. Alright guys, let's get into it. So as always guys, we start out with the package. Uh, once again, this is the UTG 4x32 Mini Crossbow Scope. Uh, with a uh, one inch two, uh, it's got dual illumination, uh, red and green. Also, let me see here, it's got their pro five-step reticle. And so that's their crossbow uh, specific reticle. It has uh, lines at 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 yards, okay? It has obviously, ooh, it comes with the cap covers and uh, this front one is built as kind of an angle sunshade. So if you can see here, it's pretty big and you know, there's obviously quite a little bit of distance uh, before the lens uh, is reached. So it's uh, meant to obviously block a lot of the sun from coming in. So it's kind of cool that it comes with its caps. Uh, speaking of capsules, guys, um, it doesn't come with the elevation and windage adjustment caps. Um, I don't know how I really think about that. Uh, honest with you, I would prefer that it did have caps, um, just in case, for whatever reason, you maybe bump into it or maybe it accidentally gets uh, adjusted uh, by accident while you're playing on the field. So. I would have preferred that they had some type of covers here. Um, however, it looks like there is a, a locking mechanism. So, once you lock it, it, it prevents it from being turned. So that's kind of a cool feature. There's no cap covers. So, I mean, unfortunately too, the other thing guys is that dust, water, can, can get into here too so I don't I don't really like that aspect of it but it does have kind of these um, attention uh, attention pretty much attention collar where if you tighten it uh, it will prevent the adjustments from backing uh, you know one way or the other okay it's got an illumination ring here on this side and like I was telling you guys it's red and green and it changes its uh, you know intensity of course from like a low setting to a high setting. Uh, before I get into the illumination though guys, let's get over the rest of the packaging. I thought this came in a pretty nice packaging for a, uh, you know, a fairly affordable uh, scope. This one I really wanted to try guys, because like I said, I really want to bring you guys uh, different scopes out there that you know are fairly decently priced, but matches kind of uh, what we're trying to achieve, right, with our paintball, uh, MagFed paintball markers. This thing also says that the parallax setting is at 50 yards, so that's good. That means, you know, at 50 yards, uh, there should be any type of parallax issues. Uh, what also came in the package, of course, is, you know, just the covers, uh, oops, the Allen key to obviously uh, tighten the scope rings so speaking of scope rings, guys, this scope is pretty cool too. It came with the UTG, their own uh, throw lever scope mounts uh, that I really like. Um, the only thing I would say though, is this is kind of a low profile mount. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with uh, scope rings or scope mounts, they come in different heights. And I personally prefer the mid height or the high height uh, the, uh, uh, versions. And the reason for that guys, like as always, it has to do with our cheek well, right, on our buttstock. So because of the mass that we have to wear, because of the buttstock and the air tank, it forces your head to sit up a lot higher. And so I just think having not only the a riser, the adjustable riser, but a set of either mid or high mount uh, rings gives it that perfect height uh, for you to line up your eyes uh, with the scope. Uh, it also comes with a set of instructions. Um, I will say though that the instructions is kind of like an overall instructions of all their different optics and scopes that they offer. So you, and you just kind of have to read through um, the instruction to kind of figure out which features uh, your scope comes with. 
the scope does come with what they call their RGB multicolor illumination. So even though I've told you guys that, you know, there is a red and a green uh, light, uh, you know, comes factory from the setting, supposedly you can change the different illuminations on it. So that's kind of cool. But like I said, I like the red and the green, so I'm not going to mess with that, guys. Uh, these are the scope ring uh, boxes that the scope rings come into. So that's kind of a nice added feature. Uh, speaking of price, guys, uh, this one wasn't too bad. I believe I got this one for, whew, I think this one was right around $140, $150. Um, the reason for that too, guys, it's a little bit more affordable than the hop scope. Um, is one, I know we'll go over those features in a second, but the primary thing is that it's not a variable speed uh, crossbow scope, okay? So it's, unfortunately, it's a fixed magnification, one speed rating scope. But the key, and this is the reason why I wanna keep on doing these reviews for you guys, is that this scope was set at 300 feet per second. So perfect for our MagFed paintball markers, right guys? Because our markers are capped at uh, 300 feet per second. Uh, you know, ideally, obviously, anywhere between 290 to 300, right? Speaking of the marker that I have this scope mounted on, uh, this is our new MR URGI uh, M4 marker. Uh, guys, check out, uh, I'm going to be shooting a review on it uh, at a later date, but this is one of our newest markers that we're going to be offering. I think it looks really clean, you know, it comes with that new uh, M lock style handguard that everybody's transitioning to. But yeah, the scope looks really good on this marker, guys. Um, real quick, let's talk about that magnification that uh, I mentioned earlier. It's a 4x32. So this is the thing. I want to uh, start bringing you guys, you know, different uh, crossbow scope options that have different magnification uh, uh, settings. Because like I was telling you guys previously, the majority of the variable speed uh, scopes out there, when you set it to the feet per second that our, our markers are supposed to be uh, firing at, it's typically a two times magnification or like on the hot crossbow scopes, it's right about a two and a half times magnification. So I'm very curious to see on how this one is gonna, you know, uh, work uh, when I go test fire it and zero it in and just, you know, go shoot uh, those long uh, distance shots with it because this is a four by magnification scope just right out of the package. So I really think that's going to help with, you know, those long distance, you know, 60, 80 yard uh, group shots uh, that I'm planning to uh, shoot for you guys. Okay. Uh, let's go over the, the reticle and the illumination real quick as we always do on these reviews. Like I was telling you guys, uh, there's two color functions, uh, red or green. Uh, I like them both, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, the illumination settings on the brightest settings is really good for both red and green. But like most of these kind of like these, uh, you know, color wheel uh, illumination uh, adjustments, uh, the brightness setting is bright and then it gets really dim right after that. And the rest of the adjustment is for the most part just really low light and dim settings. Uh, even on the lowest setting, I can barely make it out here in this in this room. I'm sure in low light conditions it'd be a lot more visible, but daytime play, I, I don't think you'd be able to see it. Uh, that's with the red, of course. With the green, uh, the green has always been more visible uh, in the daytime. So I think a green, the green would be a great choice if you guys, you know, if we're playing. I always love the green color uh, while, when, when using uh, the scopes to play paintball. So I think the green looks really cool. Um, the reticle is a really simple reticle though, guys. And I think this is kind of where, you know, some of the cost savings went into. Uh, or it could just be, you know, that UTG, you know, just went with a simple design, but it literally has a crosshair at 20 yards. And then it has obviously, uh, you know, BDC lines, you know, uh, crosshairs at 30, 40, 50, and 60, and nothing else. So that's kind of the problem with some of these, you know, I guess for more affordable, uh, uh, you know, kind of not super detailed uh, reticles. 
Uh, one, they don't have the distances for you, so you have to kind of obviously just kind of, you know, you know, learn the fact that, you know, each, each drop is a distance below. And then, of course, like I said, you know, they don't usually typically go out to 100 yards. And usually they're capped out at 60 or 70 yards, which, which isn't bad, guys. I mean, obviously being able to kind of have a preset hold for that 60, 70 yard without having to mess with your riser or anything like that is really cool. But it would be nice to have like, you know, that 100 yard or, you know, you know past the 70 yard hold or shoot even up to 120, 130 yards if possible, okay? Let's go over the throw levers real quick. Like I said, I'm really familiar with these uh, throw lever uh, scope rings, guys. Uh, it's fairly easy uh, to set. You just wanna make sure that it has just enough tension with the set screw in the center here so that when you go to lock it in place, you know, it kinda just clicks in place. You don't wanna be having to force it into place. Uh, and of course, you don't have to wanna be able to have to like, you know, force it to open up, okay guys? Uh, what else? Uh, do, 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 do. You know, like I said, I'm really curious in seeing how this thing is going to shoot at far distance, guys. But guys, watch out for the video. If you guys like this channel, uh, this this video, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.